All right, guys, it's Arcage 101 with Jalan. And no, I'm not reverting. I am doing a one-off video for a couple of topics people have been asking me about a lot uh, the last couple of days. You'll notice that 2019 isn't on the slide. Uh, when I do the one-off videos, it's really fast for me to do this in PowerPoint, get the information out to you guys. Uh, so yeah, you'll see these are viewer requested on blue salt bonds and tempering. Before I jump in today, I do want to let you know that on the 2019 edition, I've run into a problem doing the classes video. Since the tooltips still aren't correct, I'm going to skip classes and I'm going to move on to crafting. And then when the tooltips are correct, or at least more correct than they are today, I'll double back and I'll do the classes video. Before we jump in, in into anything today, I do want to tell you guys that uh, it has been outright said, stop using uh, the lower grade Aranor infusions. Uh, this comes from the new community manager. Uh, do not abuse bugs, exploits, or hacks. Your account can be negatively impacted uh, due to intentional abuse. Now, what I will say is this is a improvement for Gamigo. Uh, they have now outright said, don't do it. With the previous mounts, uh, we asked, we asked, we asked. Now, there is a little bit of a cop out here. Even if you have no response from the community team, it is never okay to use a bug or an exploit. Sure, that is a true statement, but don't give you guys the easy out. Just go ahead and address the stuff. This message right here, if anybody does it after today at 9.45 a.m. and you ban them and they complain, you say, hey, told you not to do it. All right, let's get into blue salt bonds. These are formerly the resident tokens. And as you can see uh, here, they're just now called blue salt bonds. Everything else is the same, but you will notice that there is no expiration. So there is no rush to turn these in. These are supposedly the items for the future Daru gear. And when I say supposedly, in Korea they are. North America and EU may not use that mechanic, may not get that feature. But you are going to be able to get Delphinid and Ionid gear from the Daru. We'll talk about that in a second. Basically, the way you earn these is the family daily, the community center supplies. When you open up your family quests, the very top one, that's the uh, community center supplies. You get one from doing that. You get one from doing the trade outlet quest. That is the uh, delivery quest from, uh, for me, I live in Paranor, so I get Paranor or Hasla. They're all paired up and made neatly. You run that, you get one for that. On the advanced house task jars, the uh, thatched farmhouses or the advanced houses, the apothecary armors, trade house, one of the three quests will give you one. Thank you to Shoot Who from Katum for uh, testing that. Uh, I don't have the advanced houses anymore. Uh, he has an account that has two uh, miners on it. He checked it, uh, got all three of the quests from the task jar. One of them gave him the um, blue salt bond. And then you get the board dailies at the community centers. Now what I'm gonna say right here is that you can do all four per day. You can do one of each material and it's gonna ask for 20, 60 or 100 of the item. Now it's a pretty common recurring, I'm gonna put bug, question mark, that you can do six per day not sure if you're supposed to be able to do six per day, but some of them you can do it in multiple zones. Uh, what we got here is here is the chart for which zones are for which resource. Uh, like I said, some of these are repeatable. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you which ones. Again, we just saw the message about bugs and exploits. If you wanna do that, fine, but you can do one each of the resources, pick yourself up for really easy. Uh, getting into the rewards, what you can do is you can turn in the blue salt bonds at the community center uh, and you're going to get a portion, a percentage portion of that uh, gold at the stage three payout. You can turn it in at the hero board and you can get the honor reward or green opinion. Remember, off color color is my opinion. You can stockpile these for future rewards. Uh, no ETA on when that's going to happen. So the community center gold, as you can see right here, Paranor runes the way it is today. Uh, there's just under 5,000 gold in the pot. At 4,949 total gold, 50% of that gets paid out to the resident pot. That's gonna put 2,474 in the pot. 
And then there is all the people that have contributed. And there I am right at the bottom. I'm not, I'm not contributing. I'm such a bad citizen. So there are 2,320 total contributions. Mine is 30. So mine is 1.3% of uh, the, the contributions. So I would get 1.3% of that 2,474 gold. I'd be getting 32 gold for my contribution. Not not great, but I have in the past gotten hundreds of gold when I've you know been the only contributor and the pot got kind of big. Next up, you can do the uh, hero board for honor. I just elected to do the uh, for the image to show you. Uh, it is a quest. You do it in your hero hall. If you do one bond, you get 400 honor. Two is 900. Three is going to get you 1500. Four is going to get you 2200. Five is going to get you uh, 3000. So yeah, obviously uh, the best option is to wait until the five bond quest is up. Uh, I believe it is every six hours that the heroes have to reactivate the board, it pops up a new quest. So if you're looking to maximize honor per bond and you need honor, you can do this. Uh, each quest is going to give you 10,000 XP. That doesn't change. The other one is the future gear rewards. Now you guys know that the Daru, there's a video out there by the trusty cow. He talks about the Daru. Um, they're going to be willing to exchange uh, Delphinid or Ionid armor and weapons for your blue salt bonds. Must be really nice to be the Daru with just chests full of um, Delphinid and Ionid armor and weapons. It's going to be blue salt bonds and T3 crafting mats. So what's going to happen is you're going to be looking for uh, Delphinid weapons are going to be 60, 100, and 130 bonds. Delphinid armor, 60 to 110, depending on the piece. Ionid is going to be 160, 200, and 230. Uh, don't really understand their math there. They raised it all by 100. Uh, not quite sure why Like the loots need to be 160, but I don't make these decisions. Same thing with the armor. It's going to be 160 to 210, depending on the piece. Now it is kind of expensive. It, you are getting up there at like set upwards of 75 T3 crafting mats. So that's sturdy ingots, um, beautifully colored fabric, nuri lumber. You know, just realize you can get the piece. I did the math breakdown yesterday. It's you're gonna get the piece for about 20 to 25 percent of what the uh, auction house values are. You're still gonna be responsible for regrading it. Uh, now, the other question that I was asked was about tempering. A lot of people coming back to Arcage, which is a great thing. Welcome back. Uh, but tempering is totally different. Uh, in the old tempering system, each temper had a range, like 101 to 115, 106 to 118, 111 to 118. And it was totally RNG what percentage you got in the range. Uh, and physical and then healing magic were separate. It really sucked as a healer. A couple of times I got 118 physical on my club and I got like 116 healing. Uh, now it's all together. Whatever your plus is, it's plus to everything. Uh, in the new tempering system, what you have is a plus one through a plus 30. Uh, one to 20 is gonna give you 1% per level. So you old players, uh, it's gonna be the same as if it was plus 20%. 21 to 30 is going to be half a percentage point per level. So when you really think about it, if you have a plus 20 weapon, you have plus 20%. When they have a plus 30 weapon, they're not picking up 10 more percent. They're only picking up five. Less RNG, although not a total removal of RNG and tempering starts to look a little bit different. Uh, RNG is going to come from the fact that you got to get it from crates. You got to get it or the cash shop. I absolutely hate the fact that these are available in the cash shop in a nice pack, a bunch of crystals, a bunch of resplendence, and then a bunch of tempers. Uh, just like before, there's one for weapons. There's one for armor. Take a look at the bottom of that. You're going to see it's 200 labor uh, to temper each. And also realize you got to do plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five, da, 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 all the way up. So you're talking a lot of labor. Uh, tempering now looks a lot like uh, regrading. So here is your tempering window. No, it's not the regrading window. You see tempering in three places. I don't like this. I don't like the charms. Uh, here is your 1.5 uh, charm. Here's your 2.0 charm. Uh, I will say that one good thing that happened was that you don't have to buy them from the cash shop. You can get free charms. 
they're right there at the bottom. Here's your motivation to make sure that you log in every single day. Uh, the tempering mechanics, up to 17 is safe. Not 100% success, but failure is just a failure. After reaching 18, if you fail, you slide back to plus 17. Now, it depends on who you talk to. There are some people that were trying to say that when you're above plus 20, you don't slide all the way down to plus 17. I'm going to go with that you do slide down to plus 17. Some of the people that have been failing have been using uh, no-break charms, and using a no-break charm has made it so that it was a fail, was just a fail. Obviously, I don't have those materials on the live server in order to test. I checked. I don't have them on the uh, PTS either. So I can't do a check uh, to validate one way or another if the no-break charms are working. Uh, last up, it wouldn't be the RNG game if we didn't have Resplendence. Here's your tempering window again. There's your tempering great success. There is your uh, recipe for a resplendent solar or a resplendent lunar. Now, I will point out to you, if you look for the recipe, you are going to get two resplendents. That is not a typo. You actually do get two. So one lucky sun point or one lucky moon point is going to give you two resplendent uh, tempers. Uh, it is going to take 10 of the points as well. This kind of makes sense given how little regrading is now being done because Obsidian is gone. A lot of players are just using Hiram gear. The, the availability of infusions, use the right ones for your weapon. Uh, it means regrading is less and less popular. So you needed to put the points somewhere. You needed to give them an avenue to be used. And that is it, guys. Like I said, this is just a one-off video. Uh, it's much faster for me to put this video together. I, I actually did this this morning. Uh, the other videos would take me a lot longer. Uh, if you guys need to ask any questions, I'm John, hashtag 0001 on Discord. You can shoot me an email. I have a Discord that I run that's full of people that'll answer Archage questions. I stream three times a week, Monday mornings, uh, Wednesday nights, and Friday afternoons. Uh, if you check my show, uh, numbers from yesterday we got deep into damage mitigation yesterday and that's the sort of stuff we do while live and then as always big thank you to all my sponsors there is a giveaway down below in the description make sure you check that out guys if you want a little frit of free money uh, i am giving away a bunch of gift cards uh, you guys take care i want to get this video out to answer those viewers questions and then i got to get right back to arcade 101 the 2019 edition uh and get that one into production talk to you guys later Hey, where are you going? You're not done yet. See these videos? This video's up here to watch. You gotta go over here. Hit the chibi. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the webpage. And I'll see you guys on Twitch.